Good evening, I'm the Game Tube. From tonight, we're going to be looking and grading PT, which is the first ever interactive teaser for a game. That game being the next in the Silent Hill series. Now, exclusive to PS4, as apparently will be the final game, or at the very least, a timed exclusive, because there seems to be quite a lot of exclusive crap going on at the moment. Well, when this was released and showed at Gamescom and made available to download straight away, we were initially unaware that PT does apparently indeed stand for Playable Teaser. Now, one of my favourite bit of news to come from this is that Metal Gear creator Kojima Productions is actually making the final game. And being that I've always been a massive fan of that development studio and of course Hideo Kojima who heads it up, this should be a really good thing for the Silent Hill series, who has kind of fallen a bit by its way in the last few releases. Now the game starts with you entering a hallway, and this hallway repeats over and over in a Stanley Parable style way. But as you move through the things change and the world subtly changes around you. Using the Fox engine from Metal Gear Solid 5, the sense of realism in this is outstanding, and playing this game really drew me into its world. Now towards the end of the demo, PT introduces an increasingly more difficult selection of puzzles which can actually be really frustrating, mostly based around very careful observation of what has changed from one loop to the other and some random elements happening to happen at the right time. But sticking it out to the end is nonetheless a satisfying experience. Now getting to the final screen and seeing the Silent Hill reveal is difficult and I'll be honest I had to use a walkthrough to complete the last part but I think Konami attended for the reveal to not be made public quite so soon as it did, and to get a bit of publicity in the air about it. So, should you play it? In a word, yes. If you want to experience it in its fullest, of course, don't use a walkthrough, but I'll be honest, I did find it get quite tedious towards the last quarter. So, probably play the first 45 minutes until you get really stuck, and then just use the walkthrough for the last little bit, just so you can see what the last bit is all about. It's quite an unusual experience that reminds me of kind of Outlast and Stanley Parable's bastard stepchild, but this surely is a cool way to announce a new game, and it's something I'd really like to see more of in the future. Anyway, definitely download it, no reason not to, it's totally free, we'll talk to you later. Good night everyone, night night Andy. If you have enjoyed tonight's video, please like and subscribe. If not, please let us know why in the comments section. If you have any suggestions for further videos, please let us know. And please find us on Twitter, Facebook and Twitch.